So clearly my plan to upload one video per week um, kind of went to shit, but hear me out, I do have excuses. So I have a new job and uh, I got COVID and also I I I'm buying my dream car, which has been a sh sh shockingly slow process, dude. But uh, hopefully I'll, I'll get it sometime eventually. I should already have it, but that's a story for another time. But while I was busy, I did actually find a pretty cool game that I want to talk about and that game is Motor Nation. I'm gonna start off by saying that Motor Nation is probably not a game for everyone, but seeing how my last video was about On The Run, a browser racing game that shut down in 2016, I have to say that over the years, the game that has come closest to On The Run has been Motor Nation, so today we're gonna go over the basics and if you guys like what you see, I would really suggest that you give this game a shot because personally, I quite like it. But anyway, let's see what this game is all about. Logging into my profile, you guys can see that the design of this game is pretty minimal and simple and I like that a lot. So basically in the middle you can see what you did in the game, to the left is the menu and on the right is the car that you're driving. Now surprisingly, you guys can see that I am currently driving a van and that's because there are a lot of different cars in Motor Nation and all of them serve a certain purpose. Now the van that I'm currently driving is actually, well it's terrible for racing, it's a van but it has a lot of benefits and one of those benefits is getting a lot of money with uh, well completing certain jobs that you can only do in this type of vehicle. Over on the top left you guys can also see two of the main currencies in this game. Now that would obviously be money and more interestingly also your time because everything you do in Motor Nation takes away a certain amount of your time and when it runs out well then you have to wait. But I've been saving up a lot of money lately because I want to buy a new card so that's exactly what we're going to be doing right now. First off we're gonna go to the mini map and here you guys can see most of the features that this game has to offer. It doesn't have a whole lot of them but the ones that it does are actually quite intriguing. So to buy a car you have a couple of different ways to go about it. You can buy a new car which is gonna be super expensive from the main dealer. Then you also have the used car dealer which I, I guess we can go ahead and take a look. There's usually nothing too interesting here. But you can see that most of the cars are from a very different era than what we're used to because this game takes place I think in the year 2000 and all of the cars well are a sign of that. So. Uh, they are quite expensive, but it's really interesting because most of these cars would, would be quite rare on the road today, but by far the best way to buy new cars is to reclassify it, because every time you sell your car in Motor Nation, uh, you have an option to put it into classifieds where players that are searching for new cars can see it and potentially buy it. So let's go and take a look at the full card list. Well. But uh, whatever we have over here anyway. So there are a whole lot of different completely unique and rare cards in this game which is a thing I really like about it. And there is so many like more, some of these cards you guys have probably completely forgotten about that they even exist but that's the most intriguing thing about it. And uh, I mean obviously like a Citroen AX is not gonna be great for racing but if you need a beta to like perform your jobs in I mean, that could, you know, still be a good deal. Most of these cards won't be completely useful, but some of them, I mean, I don't know, I am really intrigued just by the fact that you can actually buy a lot of these cards. But, uh, okay, let's skip over some of these uh, because there is a card that I have in mind, but I don't think it's gonna be under the general card tab. It should be under performance, which, I mean, it's kind of weird because some of the cards that, uh, well, most of the cards like a Clio, you're never gonna pay five grand for it these days. But, you know, it's the year 2000, that car, uh, it's, it's pretty rare. As of, I mean, not rare, clearly, it's, it's just new, so that's why it's so expensive. When you're starting out, you will be, well, having to buy a car from this section, which, I mean, there's nothing really too fantastic here, but I did uh, get like a Fiesta XR2, which was pretty quick, but it was terrible for racing, so I eventually sold it. Anyway, we're gonna go to the performance tab, because there is a car, and actually a bunch of different cars that uh, I wanted to take a look at. So, for example, <laughs> dude, you can never get a CRX again for like three grand, that's... 
Yeah, simpler times. Also, this game has a Hyundai Coupe, so obviously I like it. I mean, um, it is around 10 grand, which holy shit, that's has been a while. But here are actually the cars that I wanted to buy. So we have a couple of different uh, Lancia Delta Integralis over here, and it's shocking how cheap these are. Com well, seeing what the prices for these are like these days, but we don't have one for sale. We have three, and. Uh, when you buy a car, you have to take a look at the mileage and also the condition. Now, condition is never going to be misrepresented over here, and I believe that mint condition is a lot better than very good condition stated over here. I'm not going to pay 10 grand for it, but I'm probably going to get the red one, even though I would prefer the yellow, but oh well. Anyway, we're going to go here, take a look at the class of the car, B5. It's going to be terrible for racing, but honestly, I just want to launch a Delta. So we're going to go ahead and buy it. Yep, so now I have an Astra and I have a Delta. Now that is a pretty diverse garage, but anyway, you can also buy different upgrades for your car, like weight reduction and then tune it for racing, which... Honestly, I'm so shit at racing that uh, if you guys are intrigued by the whole premise of the game, I would I would really just recommend that you go ahead and uh, figure out the racing yourself because every single race I have entered in, I have lost. But if you go to single races over here, you can see you have a couple of different events. As I was saying before being interrupted by a phone call, most of these races, I mean, players are really good at it and they have cards that are finely tuned and I have never been one for tuning things well even back in the racing hours days but uh, most of the cars as i have seen well i mean there is literally an astra land that's that's yeah there's a lot of different cars and a lot of different possibilities and uh, if you guys are intrigued by the game i would really suggest that you figure this out yourself because uh I suck. Anyway, we're gonna go to the minimap and talk about this one final thing that, uh, that uh, really piqued my interest and those uh, would be the jobs, which is the reason why I have a van in the first place. So if you go to the to the job section, you can check out the classifieds and see that there are a lot of different jobs that, need, well, you need to have a specific vehicle and uh, then you can earn money. It's uh, actually... Um, pretty much the the best way to earn money in this game but you can see that you know eight pounds an hour for 20 pounds a week those would be a lot better for than like being a courier but you need to invest in a van i think that uh, that's pretty much the best way to go about it but uh, hold on is there is there like a ice cream truck because i know that those pay out ridiculously well yeah like 26 pounds per hour but I don't even know how to get an ice cream truck, so I, I'm think I think I'm just gonna stick with the van for now. Honestly, you can also have a, like a prestige car and be a wedding driver, but there's, that would be quite an investment because vans are cheap, and uh, prestige cars not so much. I mean, you can take a look real quick. Like some cars, you can get them for cheap, but cars also have wear and tear, and you have to you know pay attention that the car isn't too damaged. But if you go to the classifieds and go to the prestige cars, yeah, yeah, it's it's quite an investment. And what's even the cheapest car here? The LS400 is like 13 grand. That's that's too much. Rolls Royce, seven grand. I mean, that's that's still quite an investment, honestly. And some of the cars don't have pictures or have black and white pictures, but that's uh, that's the limitation of like a normal account, I believe. Oh my god, they even have a Subaru uh, SVX, dude, this game has everything. And while it is completely really simple, the game is still getting updates. So I'm just gonna perform a couple of jobs here real quick so I can get some money. Because this is, um, this is not a game that's gonna take like a lot of your time. But, you know, for just playing it here and there, I think that this game has a lot of potential and I can't wait for it to, you know eventually be even better but considering that this is only developed by one guy i have to say that he did a fantastic job so the link to this game is in the description i know it's simple but i quite like it and hopefully some of you guys like it as well anyway thank you guys so much for watching my name is jerry and hopefully i'll see you in the next video have a good one goodbye